Hello, this is Jay with Jay Papetry, and today I will be doing a plan with me video. For those of you who are my subscribers, you know that I like to do both the artsy side of planning and the nerdy side of planning in my videos. For this particular video, it will be more of the artsy decorative portion of planning. And for those of you who want to see the nerdy side, I will have one of those videos coming out shortly. Today, I want to focus on this 12 by 12 page kit, which is the Hello Life page kit by We Are Memory Keepers. And there are over 550 pieces in this page kit. Uh, for one, you get this 12 by 12 sheet of stickers. And then I'm just going to be flipping through these 12 by 12 designer papers both front and the back so that you can get a good idea of all the variety that you get within this pack. Now this pack also has uh, little pocket cards which I like to use as inspirational cards to put into the middle of my weekly spread. And this page kit also has a second sheet of 12 by 12 stickers which is this piece right here. I will also be using this ephemera pack by Jen Hadfield and she designs for Pebbles which is an American crafts company. Now these are chipboard pieces so they are thicker than cardstock and they aren't sticky back so you will have to apply your own adhesives. Now I'm just going to be flipping through these really quickly so that you can get a good idea of what's included in this kit. I have become such a fan of Jan Hadfield's designs because she uses such great combination of colors and she adds in foiling at the right places. I love how she adds in the woodsy elements along with the trendy colors of the coral and mint and uh, along with the dark navy blue. And if you ever run across any of her designs either through paper pads or stickers, go ahead and check them out. In this kit, she also includes these really great frames, which are perfect for scrapbook albums, or if you do Lister Scout List, or just your planner pages. Her designs can be used for so many different kinds of projects that you may have. Now to start off, I'm going to be laying down this washi strip and using the serrated edge of the tape just to give it that tear away look. And because I will be adding in a more translucent or lighter washi on top of the dark header that's already on the planner page, I'm going to be cutting this scrap piece of label sheet into strips just to mask off the headers. And once I have that all masked off, then I'll be ready to lay down my washi strip. Now for the top portion, I'm not using washi. I'm going off of this piece of border sticker within the 12 by 12 page kit. And I only want it one side to be scallop. And that's why I cut off one of the scallop edge just to give it a straight edge on the top and a more scalloped edge on the bottom. And here I'm just laying down this mint green and gold diagonal stripes washi tape just so that I can start adding in other green colors onto my weekly spread and make it all tie in. And after this washi tape, I'm going to be going with this triangle shape design washi tape. And I thought that it went well with some of Jen Hadfield's ephemera designs because she also used triangle in some of her uh, shapes. And I didn't want that yellow margin on the top of the triangles. So I'm just using my 18 inch Fiskars ruler as a guide while I use my Fiskars rotary blade just to trim off that yellow margin. And once I have that all trimmed off, I'm ready to cut it down into size four and a half inches for the left page and six inches for the right page. Now this mat that I'm using is the Fiskars self-healing cutting mat. It's double sided and I have two different sizes of this mat and I've had them for a couple of years and I noticed that they do last a long time and it also protects the work surface. So if you're looking to cut right on your work surface, this is a great mat to have. I'm using this black and white washi strip up here just to tie in the black washi tape that is on the bottom. And I know that it's covering my Monday through Sunday headers, but that's okay. I will be fixing that in a little bit here. Now for the numbers at the top, I thought it would be really fun to use these location icons that came in with the sticker sheet that was with the page kit. And I know that these aren't the corresponding numbers, but that's okay. I will be fixing that really quickly with my stamp set here that is from Seven Gypsies. Now once I am done stamping this down on my piece of scrap label paper here, I will be using a piece of cardstock behind it just to give it some sturdiness when I punch it out. If you notice that you're getting a rough edge, sometimes it's just that your piece of paper is too thin and all you need to do is back it up with a piece of cardstock. With this label sheet, I noticed that 
these pieces were a little bit stubborn. It was hard to get the backing off. But what I learned throughout the years was all you need is a piece of very strong adhesive strip and just press it firmly against the back and just pull it away and it'll peel right off. And this trick works anytime you have a very stubborn piece of backing that you want to remove and you can't really get your fingernails in between, this works just fine. Now remember when I had covered my Monday through Sunday headers? Well, I noticed that with this page kit, they also have this Sunday through Saturday little sticker piece here. So I'm just cutting it out and trimming it down so that it will be a little bit more narrow and then I will be cutting every individual piece and sticking it next to its corresponding numbers. After I'm done putting this on, what I will be doing is going through the rest of the designer papers that came with this kit and just cutting down the boxes to size and also using any sticker piece that I find that would be functional in my layout. Now on to stamping. I'm using Versa Magic in the color aloe vera. And if you haven't seen my video where I stamped within the Happy Planner pages using a variety of inks, you may want to check that out to see which inks bleed through to the other side and which inks yield just fine. I'm using this Heidi Swap Triangle Stamp to act as my bullet points for my to-do boxes. And it also repeats those triangles within the washi tape. And for my top priority boxes, I'm using this location icon stamp from Heidi Swap as well. And I figure that it'll be a nice way to pull in those location icon up there at the top where it has my numbers for my days. Now to track my reading for the week, I decided that I would go with this Heidi Swap stamp and it is in the image of a reading glasses. I thought that it would be a fun way to just notate my uh, reading progress for the week. I will be stamping with the Stampabilities ink pad and it's a pigment ink. Stampabilities also have dye inks as well, but this one's pigment and this one won't bleed through. Now for the side of the page where it has the notes section, I want to put in this scrapbook paper pad that came with the page kit. So I'm just using washi tape to hold it down so I can flip it over. And I can use a scissor to cut along the uh, edge, but I want to use my Fisker's blade. And this Fisker's blade, it's just like an X-Acto knife. However, I do like how it fits in my hand more comfortably. And this is another alternative to adding a piece onto the edge of your planner pages without having to measure it and then putting it through the paper trimmer. Now Fiskars has two versions of this blade. One is the one with the orange handle, the one that I use, and the other one has a white handle which has a swivel blade, perfect for maneuvering around curves. Now to add adhesive to the back side of this piece, I will be simply flipping it over and using my Elmer's Craft Bomb Repositionable Glue Stick. This isn't a very wet glue stick so it won't warp the page. As for the washi tape, I will be switching that out with one that has triangles just to repeat the other triangles within my layout. Now adding this washi tape will also soften that harsh edge where the two scrapbook pieces meet. And for the very bottom, I will be using Jen Hadfield's ephemera piece, which is the floral piece, just to repeat the other florals within my spread. So here I am just filling in some of my pre-planned notes that I initially had on stickies and also referring to my monthly spread just to transfer any important information over to my weekly spread. I decided that I didn't want this BU here anymore after looking at my monthly spread because I have something important going on in the home on that day. So I decided to switch it out for this other sticker that says home. 
And I absolutely love how this kit has so many stickers. Two 12 by 12 sheets and that's plenty of stickers to last me. Here I am just cutting down these little pocket cards. These pocket cards measure approximately three by four inches. And the reason why I'm cutting these out is so that when I lay them against the weekly spread, I will know which one to go with because it's kind of hard to tell when they're all together. So here I am just figuring out which ones I like and dividing them up into piles. And I almost wanted to do this today one because it could act like a bookmark, but ultimately I went with the one that says, laugh often, live well, and love much. However, because it is white, I figured that it needs a pop of color in the back just to bring it out a little bit more. And so I went with this coral diagonal piece with the little floral design on the top, and I'm just cutting it down to size. I believe I'm cutting it down to five, no, six by four. And I'm using my lemon drip punch here just to create my punches within that piece and I'm ready. I just need to put it all into my planner and I'm set to go. So I hope that you have enjoyed this plan with me video using the 12 by 12 scrapbook album kits. I hope that you also check out your craft store for other kits out there. You'll find out that some not only have the stickers and the designer papers, but also other sorts of embellishments that are really fun. And you'll find out that you'll have plenty of leftover to use in another week or to also share with your planner buddies. The possibilities are endless and these are just so much fun to play with. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.